Uh, uh, Jake, Jake, she smoke bomb. She smoke bomb. Jake, she may have powers. She may have powers. Call an ambulance. An explosion went off inside the house. The girl's unconscious, but she's gonna be okay. Sorry. Did you just steal an echoes? Afraid so. These. I hope it's the standard transmission. Come on, I just saved your life. You're gonna leave me handcuffed outside a burning house? Have some faith in your regional fire department. Good, thank you. You're a really good man. That is a lot of car for a little girl. So you. Good. He did well for himself. Hey, you little shit, remember me? Stay out here and get out of those cuffs, all right? Out of my car, now. She's got some serious guts. Really, really tight. But I gotta say, your break thoughts are shagged, though. Kids, you'd have known that was coming. <laughs> Brakes work fine to me. Okay, you got me. Unlock the door. Get out. Man, you were so stubborn. Don't slam my door. Did you steal anything? No, I will not have sex with you for 20 bucks. No, no, no. Don't be at that. Herbert. No, no, that's not what I'm... No, just get... No. She stole my car. And it's, it's not what it looks like, okay? She's she stole my wallet and my that's my car. What do you think she owns that car? Get out of my face, bloody! See? Just mind your own. I know you had this. <laughs> I can't believe you got your dad to stop me from bullying you. She has a point, son. You are seriously messing up my day. I'm messing up your day. I know you didn't kill anyone, but I need your help to prove it. Now, are you going to throw me a bone here or what? No one asked for your help. Let's start with the robberies. So what, you wait for people to go on vacation before you rip them off. That way they won't walk in on you while you're pulling a job. I mean, that's, that's pretty smart. I'm clever. What can I say? So you do it all by yourself, do you? Yeah. Really? Who's this guy? I don't know. Oh, I think you do. His name is Philip. And I caught him trashing your place looking for all that crap that you stole. Now, Philip here, he will throw you under the bus to save his own skin. A man is dead for something that people think that you have. I'll protect you. I just need your help. I didn't even want to steal stuff. Philip's my ex-boyfriend. He forced me to do it. He said we'd get away. If there's some special item, he probably has it. I interrupting? I was just processing Sloane's paperwork when I caught her going through my desk looking for a pen. Well, she's very sorry, aren't you, Sloane? Whatever. You're free to go. But I don't want to see you back here again. Tough day, huh? It's all right. I've had worse. You want to talk about it? No, but, um, can I have a hug? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that works. That was smooth. You know, Bennett should really hug her desk. Keys right now, Missy. <laughs> so long, give me the keys. So watch out! Officer, somebody stop that man! She'll live. Thanks for the save. Now listen carefully. The guy who locked you in that garage. Bastion. 
Did he tell you anything? He was just asking about some stupid frame. I told him you guys had it. What did he want with it? Unless he had some weird obsession with that photo of my mom in it. Nothing. I don't know. Where'd you get that frame? I might have borrowed it from that dead guy in Clark's house. It's Rose. Yeah. I examined the photos Des took of the frame. What'd you find? It's a tiny hole built into it. What for? A lens. There was a hidden camera in the picture frame. Sebastian must have planted it in Cooper's house to record something, but what? Hopefully not the old guy doing it. Thanks, Rose. I'll call you back. Whatever it was. He was looking for something. Where did you get it, exactly? Right here. And uh, which way was it pointed? Right there. Well, maybe Cooper was seeing someone he shouldn't have been, and Bastian wanted some evidence to blackmail him. Good scam. Yeah, I got a feeling this would be a little more profitable. You guys really don't know when to stop. Bastian, put the gun down. Shut up! Now I'm gonna take that money, and I'm getting out of here. Buddy, you killed your boss, and you nearly killed her. You think we're just gonna let you walk out of here? We know you planted that camera in Cooper's house to rob him before he cut you out of the deal. Then Sloan stole the camera. Sorry about that. Cooper and I worked together to pull the whole plan off, and yeah, he tried to cut me out. What else could I have done? Not kill him? Unlock the safe. Code's on there. Do you know how to work this? Not a bad payday. And well deserved. Fill it. Guys, come on. Now there's enough money in there for all of us. Why don't you just just take your share and I walk? What do you say? Uh, sold. I wasn't talking to you. That's too bad because we would have made a really good team. I mean, I'm older than I look. And a little wiser. Kid, get the hell out. Oh! Okay. That's that's quite enough of that. That had to hurt. Look, Pally, you really did have this cool. Get up. Take what? We're slow. She took the money. Uh, uh. Hmm, Carter Campbell, age 21, eye color, black and blue. Doesn't say that on there. Not yet, but you're buying drinks for an underage girl. Anything can happen. Really, Jake? Stock much? I'm gonna dumb this down for you, obviously, because you're really dumb. That girl's 16 years old, which makes her a minor, which really makes me pissed off. And you're a so-called adult. You're supposed to know better. You really need to mind your own business. Uh, 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 uh. What are you doing? Sorry, I can't understand you. It must be with this hook thing through your lip. Now, I think what you're saying is I'm really sorry, Jake. I promise I'll never see Sloan ever, ever again, right? Good, so you're getting smarter every second. Walk away. Thank you for that. That guy was my partner. We've been working a bunch of convention guys all day. You're stealing credit cards? It's all company accounts. These guys just blow their money on booze anyways. Might as well spend it towards a good cause. Hey. Buddy, someone drop that. Now listen, you're a good girl. Oh my god, will you leave me alone? I don't need a bodyguard. Sloan, you gotta stop acting like this, okay? Dressing like a 25-year-old and running around with douchebags who are only trying to make a score. This is all gonna end you back up in juvie, or worse. You're better than this. Sloan? What are you doing here? Getting lectured, apparently. Dad, Vinny's here. With the missus in the blue suit. Who's she? I don't know. I'll let Dez look into her. But maybe she's the one who hired Martin. Either way, she looks pretty pissed off. We need to put a track around Vinny. Agreed. He's the only one who can lead us to our target. And if Leslie's tangled up in all this, I gotta find out how. Okay, but Vinny knows me from the sniper's perch. He thinks I'm working with Martin. And he had a pretty good look at you, too. What? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Did she just... Yeah, I think she did. Sloan, are you okay? Jake, I got a tip for you. So you're not in trouble. Come on now, it's a good one. 
Now, how much is it worth to you? 20, 40? Look, I, I don't really have any money right now. You know what? You put that in the trunk. I'm gonna have to give you an IOU. I know where you live, remember that. So what's the tip? So remember that buddy I put the tracker on earlier? Vinny? Yeah, well, the woman he was with, the one in the suit, she just walked into the hotel about two minutes ago. What are you still doing at the hotel? We talked about this. Relax, but I'm headed home now. Okay, just stay away from Vinny and Elaine, okay? What about your girlfriend? My what? What do you mean? She's here too, with some handsome fella. I'm on my way. Do you have a drug problem you need to discuss with an adult? God, any knows what she filled me with. Why did Patty want that phone that you gave her? Promise you won't freak out? Okay, promise. So, I kind of do this thing where I swipe people's phones and sell them back to them. Another scam? I told you not to freak out! I didn't say that I wouldn't. Sloan, you are so much smarter Oh than... my god, you already lectured me on this yesterday. Same words even. You put me through hell, okay? I got drugged a million times. Also, some misses could get some phone back. It wasn't even her phone that she wanted. Plus, I gave her a phone. Doesn't mean it was the one she was looking for. I gave the real one to you. Where the hell did I put it? Um, well, maybe I could help with that. Um, hey, that's the guy I lifted the phone off of. Well, I'm here like you asked. Now give me the phone. Where's Jake? Tell me now. You're in over your head. Just give me the phone. Really? No. What are you doing? You have no idea how important that is. Actually, I do. 20 minutes and 38 seconds. That's how much time you have until the passcode expires. You just destroyed the code, you little idiot. I am the passcode. I memorized it. You want it? Bring me to Jake. Up. Okay, you got company. Be careful. Excuse me, sir. Do you know how to get to the inn of old from here? I'm kind of lost. Nope. Okay, thanks. Okay, okay. I need her. I need her to come over here to get the code. Zero five two nine zero six zero four two one zero eight. Some memory in you. It's kind of like memories and credit cards. Anything else I can do for you? Francis, looks like you've got company. What do we have here? A spy. Oh, who are you? What do you want? Wait, wait, Francis. I know Rose Doyle. You do. That's Leslie right there. Just shut up and keep your eyes open for Ian. Francis, you haven't thought this through. You know, I just want what's mine. Now get to work. Hurry up. Okay, okay. That is impressive. Can you do that with any old screwdriver? Is it like... Sloan, would you stop taking notes or I'll skin you? Well... That just said you knew where you are going. You took two rights. You're supposed to take a left and a right. Really? Rose. I might have known. Put the gun down now. Francis, you're not a murderer. You know, this might be the day I reconsider. Listen to me, okay? Don't take this out on Sloan, okay? It's me you're mad at. this trouble for a teenage brat. Aw, oh, and I thought we had such a connection. Yeah, you do have a connection. You're both sleeveings. Sick. Shut up. Nice. For the
the most part. That was a nice play. Getting me on your side like that. I bought it. You're good. I told you people trust me. Uh, yeah, well, that's one thing about the scamming business. Cockiness brings trouble. That one over there, Rose Doyle, she can spot a grift a mile away. I don't know what your play is, but if I were you, I'd watch myself. What are you talking about? I have no idea. I'm gonna head home and let you two have some space. Oh, I, I could really use the company. And I know for a fact Malachi would want one of his granddaughters with him. I suppose I could stay. But I really could use some air. I'll be five. Do you want anything? No, I'm good. Still no guard outside there, huh? No, not yet. I'm really sorry you're dealing with this. I am. We're all dealing with it, Sloan. He's gonna be just fine. Go get some air. And know that we'll be here for you no matter what. You need to pull it together, love. We need you. We all need you. Rose Doyle? Who are you? Uh, look, I'm sorry, I'm... My name is Anthony Spence. Anthony Spence? You remember me. Give me some ID. Right now! Hi. Huh. Remind me. I had a painting stolen years ago. What's with the... With the knife? Yes, the knife. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. It's really hard to believe that right now. Whoever shot Malachi, they're after me too. I don't know. And honestly, I don't want to know. That's why I came here. I thought maybe we could work together, protect each other. Well, if we had the painting, we might be able to stop all this. If I had the painting, I would have divorced Tilda a long time ago. What about the pair from the insurance company? I seem to recall it was a pretty hefty settlement. It's all long gone. So, uh, this has nothing to do with the painting? How did you... I took it off your wallet when I was checking your ID. What is it open? Just my safety deposit box. Barely anything in it, you know. Birth certificate, stuff like that. Rose... Why don't you hold on to this until we know that we can trust this tool? Uh, hi. Uh, I'm looking for a room. I'm sorry. We're closed for renovation. I can check another hotel and see if they have space. Uh, it's okay. I guess I'll just wander around downtown until I find something. Oh, damn. Cheap luggage. <laughs> no worries. We'll get you packed up and on your way soon. There we go. Luke? Shut up and stop whining. I've got a way to get some of the cash. Okay? I... Yeah. Great. Alright. You got a pretty good deal going here, don't you? Hooking in with this family. Nice work. Like I said, be quiet. Get his cash? It's in my bag. That should hold Saul off. Good. I told you we shouldn't have borrowed from him in the first place. you jump out that window right now before somebody other than me finds you in here and throws you out of it. <sighs> Here's it. 
realize we're on the second floor, but I want to teach you to never come back here again. Do you understand? Yeah. It's good. Yep. How much is here? 20. Very good. And how much do you owe me? We borrowed 30, plus interest. Which is 40. This is 20. Do you see a problem here? I can get the rest. Don't talk now, understand? Can't. Twenty grand, two days, or you're gonna start to see my charming side. Honey, you do not want to see my charming side. How are we doing? I've got it all. You? Credit cards, bank accounts, corporate accounts, all transferred. We're very close to being rich. Good. Are you getting cold feet? These people were good to me. Wasn't this your plan all along? No. Yes. I mean, I was gonna rip them off, but... We don't need to do this. No. We're doing it. And next, we're gonna head Saul's place. Are you insane? The Doyles barely have 20K between them. If we're gonna leave town, we're gonna need more than that to live on. Saul will kill us. I'm betraying people who took me in. We rob Saul, we bail, and start somewhere new. Fine. Whatever. What kind of family are you running with? He didn't do it. I know him. Whatever. It's all good. We're gonna be filthy rich, and then you'll never have to see him again. So we understand the plan. My plan? Yes, I do. We bring him the money, we set up a camera inside his office. You plant the camera directly in front of the safe. We steal the cash. Next stop, Mexico. Here. You should count it. I wouldn't trust me. The interest is included, I presume? Of course. How else do you make a living? I mean, no offense to this fine detailing business of yours. None taken. 20 grand? It better be 20. Oh. I forgot. A token of our appreciation. <laughs> How did you know? Come on, Saul, everyone knows you love Frank. It's an original. It was my aunt's. Signed and everything. I'll be damned. You got guts, I'll give you that. Well, out of respect to you, thank you. You're welcome. Well, um, if it's okay, we'll be on our way now. Sure, kid. Good luck. All right, we gotta hurry. Hold on. Relax. Here. You sure this is gonna work? I told you. I'm good with numbers. Where did you get that photo, anyway? It's not important. Ready? Here we go. Yep. Say something right, 27. 13 left. And 14 right. I can just see his sweaty hand. Let's go. Should I say Doyle? Nice to see you again after all this time. I think we've got a lot to talk about. Don't you?
Are you following me? Okay, look, I'm not stupid. I know some things up. I thought maybe rip off designer clothing, but on my end, I just create fabric samples. Right, okay. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's cocaine. Teeny search police blotters, and this is a growing trend amongst clever scumbags. Okay, I had no idea. Yeah, maybe so. But if we don't report this, you're in serious trouble. And I mean now. You said to meet me in an hour three hours ago. Tardiness. You might want to watch that. So you kidnapped my daughter? It's a little extreme, no? Sloan, come here. Your daughter has an obsession with messing in my business. Isn't that right, little Sloan? What's he talking about? Okay, the guy I bested, he was one of Saul's, which I didn't know at the time, or I wouldn't have gone anywhere near him. He was running a lot of product, and now he's in jail. I think she feels right at home here. I mean, I don't think she's ever going to beat your record. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, just put her on the phone, and Thanks for doing this. Pleasure is all mine. Hello? How are you? Is this your idea of a joke? What, did you get out of a bad parenting handbook? Vic Saul is threatening to kill you. Do I need to remind you why that is? No need, thank you. I know it doesn't feel like it, but this is the safest place for you to be right now. It smells in here worse than your lawyer. Do you trust me? No, but do I have a choice? Tell Walter I'll call him later. Relax, you don't smell. Hey, look, I just want to get out of here. I know you do, but stop soaking, okay? I, I love you. You call this a stag party? I really hope you're gonna kick it up a notch. What do you know about stag parties anyway? Relax, I'm not on the pole. Pole? Slow. Okay. <laughs> Stop talking. Look, go meet uh, Ruby. She's dying to meet you. My favorite uncle. Oh, and Rose wants to know if you've bought this suit for the wedding yet. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I realize this seems rushed, but we love each other. We don't judge in this family, Ruby. Mm, I'll drink to that. You know, Christian's always felt like he's been a bit of a disappointment to your family. Yeah, well, Christian's had a hard road. He's made a lot of really interesting choices, but we love the guy unconditionally. So, when are we going to meet your family? My mom died when I was young, and my dad can't make it. I know that story. Oh, we should get going. We have a wedding to plan. We do. I know. Something's off. Yep. You're gonna look so beautiful. Yeah. You're very wedding-like. I'm not sure how I feel about my dad being here. You two have bad blood? After my mom died, we moved around a lot. Spencer could never hold down a steady job. Well, that couldn't have been easy. Yeah, I bet you had to pick up the slack a lot. I know I had to. Yeah, I would work part-time as a cashier after school. Other odd jobs. Doesn't leave time for friends or a normal life, does it? Everything will be fine. I just wasn't expecting to see him. Guess we have some issues we need to work through. Whoa. That must have cost a few dollars. It was my mother's. Oh, it's, it's a classic. It's really pretty. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Oh, your pretend mommy let me in. She seems nice. Yeah, you've moved up in the world. Okay, you can't be here. Sloane, you owe me, remember? Pam, you and I are the past. Any debt you think I owe you is in your head. Anyway, so cool to see you. Pam and I used to be in the group home together. Yeah, we met. Yeah, yeah, I was away for a while, but I'm home for good now. Isn't that great, Sloane? It's beautiful, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I was just about to make some lunch. Why doesn't your friend stick around? She probably has a lot of... She's busy. Oh, no. Well, I can always make time for an old bestie, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aw, great. You guys going upstairs, and I'll call you when lunch is ready. Pam Daniels? Open your hand. 
open it. Okay, Rose, this is getting creepy. Why are you following me? Because you're pulling an identity theft scam with your half-sister. What? With Pam. You know, the lovely girl you told me you met in group home? <sighs> okay, look. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but you have to trust me when I say this. If I don't do what Pam wants, there will be serious consequences. What kind of consequences? Well, she wasn't exactly a caring big sister. She's the one who taught me how to steal and basically abandoned me for years at a time. I know you've had a hard life, Sloan. You gotta see where I'm coming from. I don't trust anything that you say or do. Why would I? Yeah, why would I? This is the last time. You can't hold the past over me anymore. Sloan, your past is who you are. You have no idea who I am. I raised you, remember? If you want to call it that, we're done. I'm serious. I don't want my cut on this. It's over. Now that you found your real family, what kind of con are you running on those people? No con. Which means you're even conning yourself. I need to talk to someone. Okay. What's going on? I have something to confess, but you can't tell Jake. I warned the woman whose ID Sloan stole in time for her to take steps to protect herself. Good. Thank you. You still adamant about not telling me the name of your accomplice? I can't. You know we have to formally charge you. Yes, and... I want to confess to stealing the Doyle's money. On the record, I did it. You can't do that. Jake will flip, and it'll ruin your life. Well, I have to. They can't get their cash back. This is the only way. Leslie, are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing. Uh, I gotta tell Jake about this. You should really keep your door locked. Not that a locked door has ever stopped you before. <laughs> I'm guessing you're the one who talked Sloan into going to the cops? No, but I am telling you to leave her alone. I'm her real sister. Yeah, but she doesn't need you in her life. Is that a threat? No. If I was threatening you, you'd know it. Get out. <sighs> Little Sloan Doyle? Yeah, she has a few other last names. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, she's done this kind of thing before. I think Daddy Jake might want to know. So the whole thing was a scam. You were playing me. No. I mean, at first... The, the DNA test? I had someone forge it. <sighs> so what now? Where are you gonna go? I have an aunt in Gander. I'm gonna go there, graduate. Well, I'll always be here for you. I know that probably makes me a sucker, but... There you go. There'll always be a place here for you, with us, with, with me. That doesn't make you a sucker. And this bullshit about you turning yourself in, you can forget about it. I want you to have a future, and you can't have one with a massive friggin' criminal record following you around. Then you can... No. You want to make this right with me? You live your life, and you turn it around. This is a free square. Do not mess it up. Promise me. Give me a word. I promise you. You have my word. Bye.